Okay, we're going to try out the carefree model here. We're just going to put some water in as a payload. Got the cover actually off. This is not bolted down, right now, but this is the liner goes in. This is bolted down. This is closed. Put your foot on it. it opens up the clamshell. You put in the paper, wax paper piece. I'm going to take a bottle of water here, 500 mils, half a liter, and dump it in here like that. Then I'm going to push the butt, push the foot pedal, drops down in there. There it's closed. Now what I want to do for this video, I'm going to go ahead and take off this entire piece just to show you the cycling. So I've undone the button that's on here and the screws that are on the side. There's the clamshell like this. So I'm going to put that up and then we're going to hook up the power. And down in here, if I open this up, there's the plastic uh, wax paper liner in the incinerator. There it's closed. I'm going to move the camera on the other side. I'm going to plug this in and hit the button to turn this on. Okay, we're going to start the unit up. And purposely, I'm going to remove the cover on the controller here. This is the temperature setting. And I'm going to set this to be at the nominal factory setting, I think for this unit, which is an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to hit this button to start it up. This light here means that there's power to the actual heating element. And so during the video, I'm going to uh, speed it quicker, but this light is going to cycle on and off. When it's red, there's power 120 volts to the burner, which is 1800 watts, and then it's going to be off. And this, of course, is the blower motor down here. 100 CFM. So I got the clock in the background. This is going to spin through and I'm going to fast forward it in the video just to show how this cycles on and off and you can hear the blower motor.
Okay, the blower turned off. And what I've read, I think sometimes these can cycle back on again. Because it's pulling air through the blower and the cycling thermostat. Uh, it can heat back up again because there's no airflow. So we're going to let the camera run to see if it kicks back on again. So it didn't do any cycling. One of the other times the blower came on, turned back off, and came back on once. So it went through the whole cycle, I guess, okay. So that was an hour and 15 minutes. There's three thermostats on here. This is a safety thermostat in case the case gets too hot. This is in Cintillate Schematic. I got off a manual. It's online. Notice the serial numbers up there. The one in this video that I've been looking at is a serial number 53,000 for a 120 volt model. But mine does have the green uh, cycling thermostat for the blower. It also has the red and violet thermostats, which are safety thermostats for UL. That's in case there's a relay or controller or thermal couple problem. Okay, these three thermostats on this unit. This is a safety thermostat, L140. If this case with the cover and everything on gets above 140 degrees, it turns off the heater. Okay, this is TS, the limit thermostat to prevent overheating. It's on the lower end of the incinerator. It's an L300. There it is. That opens up when it gets to be 300 degrees. That's L300, part TS. Okay, the one toward the top is called ITS. That's an F130. It's called an inverse thermostat to control the blower. And what it does is that when it's above 130 degrees, it's going to kick on and turn the blower on. So after the heater, which is those two wires, after that's completely been commanded to be turned off, the blower is going to stay on uh, until it cools down the incinerator. And so that's an F-130 right there, and it's called the inverse thermostat to control blower. This keeps the blower going until it comes down to 130. So if the blower was continuously running for, you know, hours afterwards, this guy would be one that could be stuck. So that's an F type thermostat, which means it closes when it gets hot. That's what F means. These are an L, which means it opens when it gets too hot. It's a 300 degrees, and then there's a 140. So it's got two fail safes on there. I believe those are in, in series with the uh, heater. Uh, that's probably for UL requirements. 